How do you speak about how do you speak about the evidence-based management in, in human resource? What, what is that? Right. So this is a situation where you don't take decisions in HR or people decisions based on your intuition or based on the fact that it is the best practice in another environment. But you take the decision based on evidence that you have available. So using your HR data, HR analytics, you know, using the metrics to be able to determine that this is the right initiative that I have to introduce into the HR space. But not just, you know, doing it because this is what you think. So when we talk about evidence-based, you know, decision-making in HR, it's about using HR analytics and then, you know, survey, that will include survey, uh, profiles and all the data that's available to you to take decisions. Do you see the typical HR manager of the 21st century being very financially or you know data articulate you know from the sort of things you, you just told me? That is what it should be. You cannot be an HR person in the 21st century and only be interested in doing the welfare personnel pushing, you know, admin type of person. If you want to take decisions, like I said, I mean, how would I be able to know that this is the initiative I want to introduce? Perhaps I may have the idea, I conceive the idea, that this is a fine thing, this is a good initiative. But what is informing me to know whether this will go down well with the people or not? Again, if I have statistics, I'm able to prove that based on your performance management ratings, at the end of the year, I think that this person is a key talent. Based on that performance rating, I need to know how I develop my reward and compensation system. Because if you are, you are rewarding for performance, then I will stay away from across board everybody is getting 20% to who actually deserves 80% of that, that, that 20% that you are talking about. Who deserves you know, a bonus? Who has contributed more than the other? And so that issues around favoritism, issues around you know, intuition, they, they, they stay you know, on the back bend. If you don't have that you know, analytical mind, if you don't have data and use the data to develop issues and implement you know, decisions and implement you know, initiatives, then you'll be lacking because a lot of them may be you just shopping around to see what others are doing. They might not necessarily work in your environment because you have a different employee profile from you know the other colleague who is doing something else in in, in their organization.